In this video I'm going to take a look at a magnetic gate from YouTube user Raymond Slab's channel. This is a channel that I highly recommend by the way. This gentleman is one of the few people on YouTube that is doing the same type of research I am. He's very knowledgeable in what he's talking about and his channel is definitely worth checking out. Thanks to YouTube user Harp Bloke for pointing out his channel to me. Raymond's gates make use of steel plates to alter the standard magnetic fields of magnets by shifting them into right angles through the steel plates. This field angling technique actually causes like poles to attract and opposite poles to repel. As you can see in the example, the north fields of the magnets are angled along the metal bars to attract the north facing poles of the center magnets and expel them through the other side without attracting them back into the gate. What's different about this particular gate from most magnetic gates is there is very little to no repulsion going into the gate. In most gates, you have to overcome some resistance before shooting a magnet through it, so your net gain is zero. This type of gate is what's called an induction expulsion system, which I explain in detail in part three of my series on the three types of magnetic motive force systems. I'll put a link in the description below if you'd like to learn more as well as a link to Ray's video on this gate for a more detailed explanation of how it works. I put this pendulum-like setup together to show more clearly that there is no repulsion on the entry side of the gate, only the exit side. I 3D printed this stator to begin testing a rotary version of Ray's gate. The spacing of the gates has to be just the right distance from the rotor to work properly. I found this distance to work well in a linear version, but once you arc the geometry to build a rotary version, the measurements change. So I 3D printed adjustable pieces that could be slid up and down the stator assemblies to more properly test the gates. Here are the sizes, types of materials, and magnets I used to do the tests I did in the video.
Once you place a series of these gates in close proximity to each other, they tend to react to each other, which can lessen the effects of each gate. So I use this type of rotor to keep them spaced further apart. It's also possible to stack them with upper and lower layers, but that could also increase the drag on the rotor from the additional weight. I put together four gate assemblies for testing a rotary design, and the rotor successfully passed through all four. So it's possible to add more and pass through them as well. The biggest thing that I would say needs to be worked out in a working rotary version is that to prevent repulsion at the entry to each series of gates, they have to be far enough away from each other that they don't repel the rotor at the entry point. But once you add more stator assemblies, they begin to create a repulsive effect. Pulling them further apart corrects this, but also decreases the motive force of the rotor, slowing it down and weakening the effect. Raymond has been doing some amazing things with his gates on his channel, so I wouldn't be surprised if he works the system out at some point. There's definitely something to the design, though, and it makes a great induction expulsion system in its linear form. Thanks for watching and do great things.